All right, what's happening, everybody? It's your boy Akeen, and welcome to today's vlog. The Sugar Bowl will be played tonight between Michigan and Virginia Tech. Going to give you a quick preview of this matchup. I'm going to start with Virginia Tech. They having a great season. They're looking for the 12th win, the first time in school history. With this win, the seniors of the Hokies will become the winningest players in school history. Now, it pretty much sucks for them coming into this game because they lost the ACC championship to Clemson, but they still got that BCS bid over teams like. Kansas State and Arkansas also Boise State now for Michigan they had a turnaround year under new head coach Brady Hope who a lot of people believe is the coach of the year this season over less miles of LSU now this coach had a spectacular year having this turnaround year with just two losses and making it to a great BCS bowl game this team this these two teams will attract a lot of attention for tonight's all-state sugar bowl game now I'm going to give you a quick tell of the tape but starting with Virginia Tech they have a great running back and David Wilson, this might be his final game as a Hokie. He has rushed for over 1,600 yards, and he is a highly talented running back coming into the 2012 NFL Draft if he decides to leave for his senior season and for, for go that senior year. Now, for um, Michigan, they have an outstanding quarterback, and Denard Robinson, who's a big-time dual threat, has great mobility, and he has a pretty good arm, in my opinion. Now, what we need to watch for this game are the defenses for both teams. They're actually ranked 8th and 7th in scoring defense. With, with Michigan getting that nod over Virginia Tech, but this should be a great defensive showdown, and this is going to boil down who's going to win this game between these two teams. Whoever has a better show on defense and commit more turnovers that will win this matchup. Also, an X factor for this game for Michigan, Fitzgerald Toussaint. He also rushed for a thousand yards, going along with Denard Robinson having the first two running um two um tandem having over a thousand yards in school history in just one season. And this is going to be key. The X factor is Jared Fitzgerald Toussaint, especially going into the second half of the season. He had a spectacular year, and he had still has more years to come at Michigan. Now that's going to be the key thing for Michigan. Now as far as uh the Hokies for uh Virginia Tech, they have a good quarterback in Logan Thomas, who will be the X factor at that quarterback position. He needs to come up big like he has been doing in the second half of the season, becoming a great leader for that Hokie offense. And he still has a couple of years of eligibility for Virginia Tech. Now, the winner for this matchup, I'm going to have to go with Michigan in this game because of what Clemson has been doing against uh, Virginia Tech. Clemson quarterback Taj Boyd threw the football well and was a good mobile quarterback who had the ability to run the football when he wanted to against the Hokies. And I think Denard Robinson was watching the tape of Clemson to see how well Ty's boy performed in that match, and I think he's going to duplicate that his game into this matchup, and I think Virginia Tech is going to struggle against Denard Robinson. I think this is going to be a close game. I think the final score will be around 28-24 to 24 going on to Michigan. Now, the next time I'm going to catch you guys is tomorrow for a preview of the Orange Bowl between Clemson and West Virginia. Thank you for watching this blog. From Pro Football Exclusive, I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.